those, you know, that who's enjoying, you know, what I'm put what I'm putting out, what I'm currently doing, you know, me being new to the public, of course, of course you know, social media, of course, even though I hate it, <laughs> uh, you know, just, uh, as far as saying, you know, thank you, you know, if you've been liking what you've been seeing, and pretty simple, thank you. And I'll try to put in that little effort and <laughs> as far as, you know, for y'all entertainment goes. Because, you know, I like doing that. When you think when I think about it and, you know, I like characters, I like you know, what's the story involved into it and just living up to the entertainment. And, you know, I'm glad to do it to put glad to do at least do that for y'all and provide that for y'all. But as well as hope y'all enjoyed you know, Elimination Chamber last night. Can't say the same for <laughs> New Japan. That's what I'm about to go into right now. But, uh, yeah, I had fun. You know, hopefully y'all had fun. All right. Because I want this to be uh, sort of a reality check. I actually, yeah, just now. I, I actually, uh, for an hour, just that match only. Wasn't watching the <laughs> whoa 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 whoa. I wasn't, wasn't watching the whole pay the whole <laughs> freaking pay per view of New Japan. I was not doing that. <laughs> I'd rather I, I'd rather stop. I'd rather stop my face into a you know op, a plate glass open window, wrap me up you know wrap myself up in you know ten folded blinds and roll myself down the street. <sighs> yeah. But yeah, I only could, yeah, I only came from one match and one match only. So yeah, I I sat I actually sat down. Yeah, of course, you know Sasha Banks, and of course when I got to it, you know Sasha Banks versus Kyrie for the New Japan uh, Pro Wrestling Championship. You know women's or you know whatever. Yeah, I had uh, you know sat down to watch the match, and of course yeah, it was it was a fantastic match. I would say I was about to go to great, but I will give props because it is Sasha, and I'm pretty sure, you know, New Japan is the only factor they have to work with to begin with. So, of course, you know, their matches, I guess, should be top tier. Yeah, it was a fantastic match. I will give props. Of course, the word prop, you know, you have to give props and where, you know, justice is due. It was a fantastic match. And... Y'all, whoever heard when y'all heard it before, but I, I you know, I will, I will say first, but, you know, I know I'm not going to appease, I know I'm not going to satisfy everybody, you know, I found a, you know, trust me, I found that out a long time ago, so I'm not even going to waste my time doing that, I'm not going to waste y'all time doing that, you know, we're just, you know, just going to hook straight line, you know, that's all we can do. Because you have you you have the audience that I mean I hate it but you you have the audience that just they go to YouTube and they want to see whether it's good or bad or not they want to they want to they want they expect it to want to hear what they want to hear and that's it regardless and then you have the audience that's not but yeah that's just how it is people want to be told what they want to be told and what they're looking for as far as that. Which, as far as you know, I don't, under, but I don't understand when that to begin with, when they say that you know they don't listen to reviews or you know whatever people's opinions or whatever when it comes to media entertainment. But then again, they do, because <laughs> they wouldn't be here to begin with. So why are you watching a video? But you know, going back to it, yeah, I'm, like I said, I know I'm not going to do that at all. So. Why even attempt? Why even think about it? <sighs> yeah, I'm gonna get to why I'm, you know, I'm sighing all of a sudden. I pretty much said it before. I, I don't care. I'm sorry. I, I, I mean, I will be tuning in and keeping an account to as far as you know, Sasha Banks, and that's what I'm gonna call it too. Uh, well, I mean, of course, that's like a part of her name is her real name, like Mercedes. But I'm just going to call her Sasha Banks. You know, Sasha. I still sort of disrespect, but, you know, that's kind of how I knew, you know, know who she is. And, you know, going her for her career in WWE. So, yeah, I'm just going to, as far as that goes, just call it, just refer to her 
It's simply Sasha Banks or Sasha. And, yeah, I, I don't, when it comes to New Japan wrestling or, you know, whatever, or whatever, you know, you know, the Mark Geeks have been watching, you know, the uh, work rate matches that y'all had, they've been watching for years and so forth on. I'm not, I, I, you know, the people who've been there or, you know, you've watched, I'm not here for that. Or if you watched my other, you know, for movie, you know, uh, film and movie, you know, TV show, I'm, you know, I'm not into that. I'm not into this as far as like, because there's ways that, uh, of course, you're there when it comes to a, a film like, you know, when it comes to a universe like Marvel or DC, the, you know, their show, if they're still all about the action, you know that universe is still, because, you know, it's about those individual stories and their character arcs and, you know, the journey going forward. You know, like, and when it comes to pro wrestling, which people don't understand, especially, you know, like mostly fans, you know, AEW like fans, they don't seem to understand. Like I said, it's cool. Like I said, I never got that when it comes to that. I mean, you could have your matches, but you got to understand why, <laughs> you know, they're, they don't have the, uh, as big of an audience or, you know, Tony or, you know, stuff like that why he acts the way he acts is <laughs> gotta you know they gotta get in that they gotta get out of that type of mindset gotta get out of that type of mindset they can lie to themselves and <laughs> say that of course tony has money whichever his if it's his dad his company or not but i'm not gonna go back into that you know it's not that this is not about that suppose this is about sasha but yeah, I don't care. Uh, you know, I'm sorry. You know, whether she's being in that she's in New Japan or touring around. Like I said, I'll keep a close eye, of course. But I won't. You know, as far as like you know, daily, weekly to participate in, in that sort of you know market, New Japan and you know basically the indie scene all together. Um, you know, my I'm not my eyes are going to be elsewhere. I'm not going to just. You know, I've already said my piece on that. It's it doesn't interest me. You know, New Japan wrestling. You know, the indie scene. That's where. That's what they all. That's what they're all about. It's about the wrestling, and that's just that's not it. So, you know, as far as like uh, speaking on that, and like pretty like come on, like even if like you're a hardcore, like I said, I know like you know whether they do or not the stands, or you know just. Toxic, ignorant, just ignorant fandoms in general. Like, even if you're a hard, cause I like I'm like I said, I love Sasha Banks. You know, she's one of my favorites. She will go down as one of my favorites of all time, and she's one of the greatest wrestlers. As much as people, cause they have their bias and they like to, when it comes to, of course, like a wrestler like CM Punk or Sasha Banks, they like to talk shit, and we all know this. <laughs> We've seen it, even with Hulk Hogan and John Cena. Yeah, no doubt she will go down as one of the greatest wrestlers of all time, and she's one of my favorites of the modern era. You know, modern, or you know, in general, one of my favorite wrestlers. But I do, I do kind of agree to some extent. Of course, you know, especially in this business, everybody has an ego, and yeah, she kind of, she kind of let some of that, you know, especially from her fandom, she let some of that go to her head. Because, you know, you're not, especially over WWE, you're only as, you're only as popular and you have so much of a name, you your brand only has so much of relevancy when it, you know, as far as her time at WWE goes, uh, you know, her being in New Japan, I'm sorry, might get like, you know, maybe even 50k or, you know, probably 100, but as far as like over like, 500k even you know close to even a million like i'm sorry but that's not happening as far as her you know when it, when it comes to her to, that being that benefit when it came to wwe when you know not because we all know not really even roman reigns you know they're they the, the, the only and he's starting well he here yeah, he's sort of starting to break out but you know for a long time also, when it came to 
of course, when they were first starting out as stars, they were nobodies. And after becoming big names in WWE, Batista, you know, John Cena being out there in Hollywood now, you know, the names that they have. Because, yeah, Batista, they're, John Cena's nearing his 50s. You can see it. And Batista is, yeah, he's damn near about to be going into his 60s now. So, yeah, they spent, <laughs> yeah, they, <laughs> they had to get, well, you know, well enough. Not, not like they were, because they were very much still into wrestling, but, yeah, they, like, whatever piece of entertainment that they in, they had to get their names up, which is why you see Batista and John Cena everywhere now. It's because they're stars. And as far as, like, they're, like, you know, global, you know, commodities. You know, people know who they are now when it comes to Batista and John Cena. And you already know The Rock. <laughs> you know The Rock. You know, he grew as far as that because that's like a once in a lifetime. But, you know, you still, you still, you're still getting John Cena's and Batista's. But, you know, as far as that goes, yeah, the Rock had, you know, he, because uh, at that time too, it was, you know, worked to his benefit as well. You know, he was big. He was one of the biggest stars of his generation when it came to being in wrestling and, you know, in general. And, yeah, he, Cast pull it off of that. Not that it's as if they're it's their fault. Sasha Banks and you know when it comes to some of Roman Reigns also. You know we're in the era of where every not everything else also, but <laughs> wrestling is struggling. It's not at the height as it used to be. And it's like as far as like. You know, as much as like as bad as Marvel, you know, have we have something like a uh, Marvel when it comes to a media like Marvel and DC, they still get millions as long as people's watching them. You know, wrestling before you know it got huge, it was like pr pretty much like you know the Street Fighter community. You know, I don't know if you know some of y'all if y'all played Street Fighter or not, but as opposed to you know. Companies like, you know, when it comes to Call of Duty, communities like uh, Call of Duty, maybe even Halo. Yeah, it's like, when it comes to, a, like, a community like Street Fighter, there that's, that pool is very... Because when you look at video games, especially your YouTubers on Twitch, you know, your YouTubers or your Twitchers, they get, like, you know, hundreds of thousands and millions of views. And as opposed to somebody that's, well, yeah, even me, very small. Like when you're talking, because you you know even like we see film reviewers and stuff like that, they get you know hundreds and tens of thousands of views. And wrestling is a niche; it's a niche market now. It's very small compared to the entertainment industry and other commodities. That's very still large. You know, rest WWE in general is not as big as it used to be. You have, like I said, you have an, altern an alternative like AEW, but if you compare both of them together, they don't, they only get close to being that, you know, whether it's one, barely AEW, but yeah, one to two million views. So it's like, someone like Roman Reigns are arguably in the best, you know, run of his uh, run right now. You know, the second, I would say, you know, the second version of, of his, you know, like, you know, second version of his character and, you know, his best, best pop point of his career, you know, there's still, you know, he's like somewhat of a draw, but there's still not, even him, he would still have to climb back up. That's why he's, you know, striding his way to Hollywood right now because, they, you know, nobody really knows who they are. You know, wrestlers today, they're not actual stars as opposed to, as opposed to the wrestlers from yesteryear, nobody knows who these people are. The time that I've been here, you know, I've continuously have said that, which I will continue to say in the future. You know, nobody in the world knows who. I'm sorry, it's uh, even though it hurts me as possibly say it, nobody knows who Sasha Banks is. As far as like, get, like I said, she let that. When it comes to a fandom like Sasha, because they're very, very much like a like a fandom like Ariana Grande, if you know who that is, has one of the biggest fandoms uh, in history right now, and they let that, as far as like being them, they, 
Because, like I said, you can't escape it. Everybody has an ego, but and but she's letting hers get a little too large. And like I said, you know, her, you have, of course, you know, there's nothing wrong with that. Not at all. Not even in the slightest. Nothing wrong with all, because she has that worth. She is a name, for sure. A big name in wrestling. But as far as being an actual star that you know, garners not just a hardcore wrestling audience, but casual as well. She, there is, you know, there's only so far she can be so limited. And, you know, whether you agree or, or you agree or not, because that's why you came to the video. It's why you're here. It's the truth. And it's not like there's, you know, these wrestlers, you know, these wrestlers are at their faults. It's not like, the, the, you know, it's some, of the, because they also get some of it too. Not, it was where it's just companies like AEW and WWE, because it's not like they're trying to, you know, even go out of their, you know, repertoire to draw, you know, different audiences and demographics. So... Let's see, as far as that, you know, because this is obviously, I don't think this is going to last long as well, her being in, because she obviously is going to, it's probably for a little while, being that is a tour and everything like that, because she even said it herself, I saw an interview, I think it's on New Japan, or wherever, even their own site, she said that, basically, basically saying that she'll go, whoever gets that larger sum, whoever gets her that larger sum of a paycheck, that money, then it's wherever she goes. And that's like, like I said, that's not, it's not, you know, wrong to think of that. It's not, you know. So, whether or not she may go to AEW or WWE, you know, that's, uh, that question is very much, you know, regardless of where she goes. So, but, I mean... I said I feel like she would, cause I don't want her to go to AEW. I would that would for you know far as as far as right now, even more so now, I feel like that would be a more a disservice to her. That would bring her even more down because you know how Tony is, and people are starting to, I mean, it's starting to catch up, but a little bit by little bit. No matter if you're an AEW a diehard AEW cuckold to the company, you know people are start are gonna get bored. Whether they admit it or not, and you know, you said they're gonna get bored and they're gonna start watching something else. They're gonna tune out of AEW. Those numbers are gonna start to dwindle. But yeah, I feel like yeah, I was hopefully at some point, even sooner, that she goes back to WWE. Like I said, Triple H had a he had a role, and it's not like Vince is there, which is why the reason kind of the reason not you know. When you think about it, why she didn't immediately go back when Triple H was in charge? You know, because of course that you know Vince is still lingering around, and you know Triple. It's not like Triple H had a hand in it, also as well, because he is like a, one of the right hands to Vince, which is why he became the head. So, I mean, yeah, it's wherever, it's wherever uh, the hourglass goes. We will see what happens next in Sasha's Banks career. So let's say I hope she goes back to WWE because yeah, this tour, this global tour, it's not gonna work out. People are not gonna really care. Also, it's like this, this gotta be this gotta be terrible. Gotta be terrible by New Japan themselves. It's like why would you air the same night? Like seriously, <laughs> like is that is that or is that not? Just a terrible, nonsensical <laughs> marketing. Like that's got to be the most. That's got to be the worst marketing I've ever seen. I didn't even know they were on last night. Why would you? <laughs> why would you? <laughs> why would you go on the same time as Elimination Chamber WWE? One of the most biggest pay-per-views <laughs> and anticipated matches in history, with one of the greatest stories. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro! Yeah, they've got to be incredibly idiot. But yeah, it is, it is, 
you know, the mindset of wrestling today. So I'm not even going <laughs> to continue to, you know, egg that question as much as, uh, you know, entertaining as that is. But wow, yeah, just wow. It just goes to show you how much of a worse decision on her part that she made this. But even though I, I know she loves the world, Japan and everything like that, I know she loves, you know, it's where she was basically came up from. She trained there, whether it's Japan or Mexico, you know, certain other uh, areas like territories like that. But still, I mean, she's got to make a smart decision. So, I just hope she makes it sooner. Stay blessed, y'all. I'm going to see myself out. <laughs>